Hey, welcome back to Farm and Truck TV. Some of the process of taking off the rollover protection for the old case here, because uh, it does not fit inside the barn to actually scoop all the, the soil bedding. And it's getting heavy and I'm lazy. So we're gonna pop this bad boy off, get it tossed over here neatly. Then I can get in there and actually get the poo out. I have a couple hours, so I gotta hit the road uh, and go to the next auction. But all the caravans are doing good, minus two. Um, two got some real nasty like poo. It's not really like scour type, but kind of gross. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on them. They're not that hungry right now. So if they keep giving me an issue, I'm probably gonna have to tube them. Um, like, so I'm gonna wait till they get hungry. A hungry calf's not a dead calf, but we'll, we'll see here in a minute. But I'm gonna continue, pull this off, and then see if I actually fit it in the barn. All right, I don't know if you can see here. It's not gonna focus. But I was basically able to one pull it, come in with a bucket, and get this to focus in, and just pull it all out. Once that rollover protection came off, it was super easy. Uh, one big thing I've learned over doing this is cleanliness is next to godliness when it comes to calves. So if you let that bedding get nasty, you let it get moist, let all that stuff just kind of ferment in there, you start getting all kinds of issues, tons of issues. Um, so I try to clean sweep the barn minimum once a week and then definitely between big groups of calves. So I'll just end up pulling it out here. It's all going to go in the bucket then it's all going to the back into the pile there. Um, oh, I don't think I ever showed anybody this. So that tractor came with a flail mower. I don't know if you know what a flail mower is. It's actually an old, it's actually an old Ford uh, flail mower. But well, it's got like chains with knives on it and it just, just like it sounds, it flails around and cuts the grass. It's got a roll, it's kind of beat up, but uh, I don't know, I thought it was cool. I don't know if we're gonna, we're gonna use that. I guess it's really good for like brush and stuff like that, but we got the brush hog for whatever else we need, but that's gonna, I'm gonna let that grow up a little bit. That fire pit, we're gonna scoop it up and get it out of here. Cause it's just kind of a silly place to put that up actually towards the house where it actually would use it. Anyway, so I'm gonna hop on the tractor, get this poop pile, get it back there. I still got a little bit of time for the auction starts. I got calves in here, I got calves out in the front. Um, in the fenced area there in the front uh, that way I can do this, but um, Let me hop on the tractor. Well, actually I'm probably gonna have to scoop it into the bucket then take the tractor, but I'll see y'all here in a minute All right, we are at the auction here. I got my buddy Dave with me. We only got about I don't know the lady said about 17 calves, so we got to buy 17 calves today um, All in all they all look pretty good little jerseys and jersey crosses here this one's really getting after me but uh, no. Let's see how we do. So we brought money, so let's let's buy. Tons of yeah, look at them all. I like this observation too, it's better than the other one. So there's a lot more now. There was how many calves were probably 17? There's about 17 over there and now they're bringing in another group of about eight or nine of them. No, it might be a little more than that. But either way, so there'll be some calves to buy. So we're pumped. So no auction footage. It was really fast paced. I couldn't even get the camera out, but we did get one and only one. So that kind of sucked. Again, price of calves went up to gold again. You couldn't even get a, a Jersey bowl for under 60. Oh, so that's what we got there. Got a little bull. He's actually 95 pounds. I mean, he looks way bigger on camera right now, but actually he's actually pretty good size. So uh, no footage. It was just too fast. So I'm sorry about that. I'll do better next time. Uh, let's get him back and uh, get him in. But really, real nice looking calves. Just the prices were like gold, man. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, so I don't know if you can see real well in here. I said I get the power fixed, but he's bedding down somewhere in here. I'll get better when I'm on the next video. Um, sorry there wasn't much auction footage, and sorry this video was kind of meh. But it was just so fast paced there and the calves were going for, I mean, 75 to 195 bucks. Like just, and then we're not, we're talking just Holsteins and jerseys. There was nothing crazy there at all. I mean, there was a couple uh, brown Swiss Angus crosses, but they didn't announce it. The guy was disappointed. They didn't even go for that much, like 90 bucks. I wish I would have grabbed them. But uh, yeah, I, I would have gotten more for you. And I'm kind of disappointed how this date went, but I wanted to kind of, let you know where we're at. So we'll get a better video of him tomorrow. 
No, I didn't meet a new contact though, so hopefully we got some new contacts for some off the farm stuff. Uh, yeah, sometimes you swing and you miss, and that's just kind of what happened today. Um, like I said, I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday, and uh, I'm gonna try to I'm going to try to do a video every single day this week. Let's give it a shot. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. I try to answer all the comments down there, so just bleep bloop it down there, and I'll get back to you. But uh, yeah, that's it for me today. See you on the next one.